Hey everyone, we're back with more Secret of Mana. Or Legend of Mana, not Secret of Mana. Yeah, I have no problem hitting them with my uh, Royal Greatsword, but uh... To get 20k a kill. I don't think he's quite that far in the game, uh, I'm saying. You cannot escape your destiny. But that's outside millennia. Xanad Doofus, hello sir! Bird leg snappy, is that what he said? Yeah, bird leg snappy. So every enemy is millennia. But there's two of them. So my master fought lots of birds today. I wonder if it hurts to be poked around by their beaks. Doofus, does it hurt to be pecked by birds all the time? Only if it also makes all the friendly NPCs millennia. Just get millennia to fight millennia. Those videos where they make, uh... NPR make, uh, bosses fight each other are pretty hilarious. Where am I going? Depends on the beat, can it actually be quite pleasant? What if it's other people pecking you? You wanna see one of those dragons I fought last night take on Rom? To the Bone Fortress! The Bone Fortress is what I call my, my condo. You wish more of those duo fights or three-way dances? I read a thing last night about Godskin Duo that was like, uh, people like to say that it's like a shitty uh, Ornstein and Smo, but someone was arguing that it's not actually an Ornstein and Smo, but a better uh, Four Kings. And I can see the argument. You know what Four Kings was, right? It's just a good Godskin duo. So the Four Kings is a DPS check, so you gotta kill um, them before you get overwhelmed by, well, presumably Four Kings, but it ends up being like five or six depending on uh, what new game plus you're playing on and uh, what people, uh, how good your DPS is. People overhype Four Kings to you? Really? Four Kings is easy as shit. Unless you're doing New Game Plus, then it's not. The Bone Fortress is full of scary, scary skeletons. We're gathering the herbs that grow on that hill. The students here all go to the Academy of Magic. We're here to work on a triple re uh, regent mixing assignment. Mrs. Thessenis said that we should mix the ingredients we find around here, but we're having no luck at all. Even the flowerlings are helping out, but we've had nothing but duds. Could you go th gather three regions for me? Bring them back here and I'll mix them. Well, yes, using the Black Knight weapon is going to make every fight in the game a lot easier than it needs to be, but Mr. Sinus! It's alright, we're working hard. Good. Whew. That teacher's way too scary. Since ages past, people have said that plants on that hill are full of the power of mana. I'm not saying that you, you're not allowed to use the halibird. I'm just saying, the halibird will shift your perspective of a fight, given that... Dark Souls 1's uh, scaling on damage was, was not great, and any of the Black Knight weapons just made everything a lot easier than it should have been. 
that said, doing four kings, even without a Black Knight weapon, is still nothing. Well, I'll give it a shot. Oh, almost! I think we're getting really close. I don't know what they're getting close to. Like, I did the fight with a Claymore and didn't really feel any different. These are spotted silver mushrooms. Okay, I don't want- what are you giving a shot? I don't want to do that! I just want to talk to the NPCs here! Seems to be okay. Nope, that was never gonna work. I got some star sparkles. Some Uli pen. Anyway, I don't know anyone who ever said that uh, gold uh, uh, four kings was a, four, a gold standard fight. Almost everyone I know fucking hated that fight. I found a rat tail. Here's a roly-poly bug. One of them seems to be okay. Okay. Even Doofus hated the Four Kings. Okay, so it was the fairies. You know what? I wish I could go ask the fortune teller in Domina. More like Boar King, see? See, even Doofus didn't like the, the, the Four Kings. Alright, so we know fairy scales is one of them. Nomad Tooth. It's not hard, it's stupid. Spotted silver mushrooms. Okay, so we know it's fairy scales and botted, spotted uh, silver mushrooms. Not Uli Pen. Sperling leaves. I fought our Sith fairly early and it was, it was a pretty good fight. I'd say I liked it. Roly Pulley Bug. We'll give it a shot. Wish I could find this third item here so I can stop doing this. A rat tail. Uh, 2.30. The vast majority of my deaths in that game have been to Dudes flying off screen and taking off all, all my health and killing me. And, um. Dying to random things. Uh, that, that's basically been it. Alright, we need silver mushrooms, which I think was you? Yes. We need star sparkles, yes. And fairy scales. All right, we made some triagran. When little kids take this, it makes their heads explode. What? One time, Bud drank some by mistake and he ran around all day long. I can't give you any triagran, but here, take this instead. We just helped this dude make something to kill children. 
That's unfortunate. Or fortunate. Hey, look at the tree, I agree. Don't tell me what to do, dude. I feel like you're exaggerating the four parries uh, aspect of it, but if you can parry him, he's apparently very easy. Blamo. I could not parry him, so I had to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I got a pretty good rhythm going on Manus near the end there. But, I had a hard time with Artorius, getting him to act in a way that I could actively do. Picking up stuff from the ground, mixing them and mixing them um, go boom. Isn't that a little bit childish? Didn't your mommy tell you not to do things like that? No. Look a lot like a gammon fight, which was parry, 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 parry. I actually successfully got a lot of parries on Garamond myself, which is not the usual thing for me. Um, unfortunately, my skill level was uh, low, so I did not have any uh, real damage with it, but you know, still a nice thousand plus damage per, per one. Thousand six hundred damage officials. Faye, how are you doing? How is your death counter? How's life on the Faye side of things? Yeah, did you eat any bacon? What you been playing lately? You back in? Uh, you said you were back in the Destiny Two, right? How's that going? What was that back there? I sense something. And again, what is that strange voice? Tell me what is going on here. Uh, I don't know if I should. We've been using local herbs and minerals as regions for our potions. The herbs on the hill are said to cure any sickness. But lately there's been a weird voice coming from inside that bony castle. People say that one of the ancient dragons of knowledge lives there. Dragons of Knowledge? Aren't they just big lizards? Wah! Alright. Cranium Gate. Something is coming. The Ghost of Nemesis. Ah oh, shit, stars! Away with you humans, this is no place for you. You are a dragoon? Could it be? We have come to see Jajara. Now let us through. Never! Accursed fiends, I shall exterminate you here and now. I will send you back to the underworld where you belong. Godfalls! You know, it's pretty fun. I had fun playing it with X. I kind of want to play Fall of Babylon, but that's another one where I only want to play if I got someone else to play it with. Because... Yeah. SE... Uh, they've been trying to throw out these, like, shooter games, but they have no idea how to make them so that they're replayable. Like... Diablo, Diablo 3, Diablo, or Diablo 2, Diablo 3 are all, like, great because... 
the, the end game just is fun for people, but they haven't been able to replicate that in the 3D format. Like, Borderlands is one that managed to do it, because people will go back and play that repeatedly, but... Aside from Borderlands... Okay, he dead. Like, Godfall, uh, Babylon's Fall, um... What was that other one? Uh, uh... Outriders? Yeah, I didn't like, uh, um, I didn't like, uh, everyone else has gone home, um, Division's Endgame, but I did like playing through the story. Since the ages passed, people have said the plants on that hill are full of power of mana. What do you have, so? Oh, see, it's some kind of mangoes. The Bone Fortress is full of scary, scary skeletons. Okay, how do I get into it? We're gathering arrows that grow on that hill. There we go. What was I doing that last time? Uh, you get bored with Destiny 2, it usually takes a, a three to six month break every year. Yeah, I remember you saying that. The meta was re revolving around two guns, and people kicked you if you didn't have them, and you just had to raid. But you had to do the raid. People kick you from to get to get them. Sounds like a classic uh, MMO uh, conundrum. Looks like some kind of trap. We must be careful here. What in the? Okay. You got the giant's on. Those people are just dicks. You can pretty much raid with anything now. Not a min max. I just play uh, with what I like to shoot. Ideally, that's the way you'd play. When I was playing WoW, um, I couldn't play Destruction Warlock during uh, Wrath because Affliction Warlock was the better DPS, which made me sad because I didn't like playing Affliction. I like playing Destruction. But then I found a group that let me play Destruction, and I was happy. It was funny, because in uh, Cataclysm, uh, Frost D DKs were technically the better, but I couldn't play Frost very well. So they let me play Unholy, but I still managed out DPS all of our Frost DKs, so... Yeah, fortunately, dicks ruin multiplayer games. Yes, they do. And to be honest, you only play D2 so long as you had friends, because now they're all gone. You just do solo play, mostly with the game matchmaking. Hallway of Cartilage. Playing with Vector's the most fun you had? Aw, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. I can't go on, the fortress has me. Just leave me be. Ah! What? Alright. You never follow the fun if you have fans mantra. That's not even a mantra, that's just true. I mean, ideally it's true anyway. Did that not hit either of them? 
Why am I fighting dual blow? Uh, these are Agus Slashes. I guess this would be Agus Slashes. Maybe not. These things turn into clubs, too. You're a sword! What the fuck are you transforming me into a club for? So, you youngins are trapped here in the ball and butchers, too. I'll help you out. If you ever lost, just ask my friends. They'll guide the way. Hey, Bumble! I got demon meat. Yummy! Are you guys telling me if you had the force, you wouldn't use it to squeeze someone's testicles? feel about donkey punching? This domino dramas? What's domino drama? Explain what is happening. I'm not familiar with this. They banned the developer of the game. Domino was a gladiator manager game. Really? Never heard of it. Okay. And they banned... It was an indie, like, $20 title on Steam. Okay. the dev went on a huge transphobic rant. Uh, I asked what your thoughts are on donkey punching. Now the game is completely delisted. Look, man. I get that uh, some things are, you know, for some reason difficult for people to accept, but uh, Going on public rants probably not the best uh, the best course of action. If they're into it. Who are you to deny? Hey, I love how open you are to everything. A developer being a complete piece of shit has been enough to get a game delisted. Yeah. It's an interesting precedent. Okay, I don't know where to go here. I've been running around in the same area for a while now. I keep ending up back here, or the other one. I don't see any other pathways I can go. Oh. Okay. I guess I needed Bob Dole to open that. Why didn't that activate last time I was in here? So you youngins are trapped here in the bone punch too. I'll help you out. Hmm? Where do you want to go? You must be looking for luck. Tell me, why do you send Draconis? You must know why he wants to kill the dragons. No idea. I see. I'm sorry, but I cannot let you live. Without you, Draconis will surely be forced to give up. And then, I will not have to kill Lark. Oh jeez, she has a lot of health.
Yeah, and the forums, which is full of the, full of separate the art from artist posts. Okay, so he put his rants in patch notes so people couldn't ignore them. I mean, oh, okay, I think I've read about uh, people doing that. Yeah, okay, I did read about that. Also, what the fuck, dude? Defeated. But that sounds really familiar. There's also a guy with this alpha male shit in uh, the dev patch notes where he uh, was basically complaining about all the uh, all the beta cucks out there who are ruining things for alpha males because they're making males seem like pansies now. By the goddess, you are too strong by far. But someday, someday I will stop you. I feel like I'm the bad guy here. Let me see the key. Alpha males crying about betas is some beta shit. So who's the true alpha in this relationship? I'll answer that question for you, Faye. Faye is the true beta, uh, true alpha. Just one look at him and you, and, and you see this rippling muscled Adonis. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet without my third character. Whenever Faith uh, flexes, the very gods cry. Rib cage bridge. Actually, a pretty cool idea. It is pretty neat. You say it's from laughing how at how weak you are. Yeah, I was saying that earlier. I really like the uh, design of this game. It's super good. They did a really good job with it. Hey, dude. Sierra. Who goes there? I cannot believe I fell for such a trap. I am sorry. Hey, we gotta ask Ketchum. Which really helps with the whole everything is your imagination concept. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's, so far I really like the design of this game. The world design has been fantastic. Oh shit, Tomato Man. That was rude. No, get off my... Little mushroom, or my, my rabbit, you piece of shit. Why can I not hit this fucking thing? Tomato mana in this are really annoying. In Secret of Mana, they were- oh, I got an ancient rub. In, uh, Secret of Mana, they were particularly annoying because they would, uh... In Secret of Mana, they were particularly annoying because they would, uh... Just constantly spam heals. Or was that Trials? Might have been Trials. Yeah, Trials, they were annoying because they would just spam the fuck out of heals. Then this one, they just, like, jump on you and then you can't hit them for a while.
Yes. <laughs> She's basically the Asari in me. Alright, what can we find on the first floor? 